Welcome to Antenna and Wave Propagation Playlist. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain you duct propagation. And along with duct propagation, I'll explain you single hope propagation and multi hope propagation. So before that, we need to understand what is duct propagation. So the duct propagation of radio signal follows a particular channel or duct in atmosphere. So when duct propagation is happening, it is following a channel that is referred as duct. So to understand what is duct channel, we need to understand what is M curves. So first I'll explain you what are M curves and based on M curves, we can define what is duct channel. So let us begin with what is M curves. So for standard atmospheric propagation, we need only normal refractive index. But for non-standard propagation, we require modified refractive index. So for standard atmospheric wave propagation, we need to have normal refractive index and as we can study it by snail's law, how reflection, refraction and all those things are happening. But for non-standard atmospheric propagation, we need to understand modified refractive index. Now how to calculate that? So that is n is equals to eta plus h by r where eta is actual refractive index, h is height from the earth and r is radius of earth. So this is what the basic definition which is there with modified refractive index that is n is equals to eta plus h by r where eta is normal refractive index h is height from the earth and r is radius of earth. Now here based on this formula one can clearly see this value of n that will be very nearer to 1. The reason is refractive index of air that is almost unity plus h by r where h height that is very lower than the radius of earth radius of earth is 6400 kilometer almost so height will be always very lower than that so you will be finding value of this n that will be very nearer to unity so here value of n that is very nearer to unity and it is depending on h by r here we will calculate axis modified refractive index and that is n minus 1 into 10 to the power 6 so here we will be calculating axis modified refractive index that is n minus 1 into 10 to the power 6 so for that what we need to do first we will be doing n minus 1 here at both of the side so if i do minus 1 at both of the side and if i multiply 10 to the power 6 at both of the side I'll be able to get modified refractive index that is n minus 1 into 10 to the power 6. So what I have done is I have took minus 1 on both of the side and then multiplied by 10 to the power 6 and that is what modified refractive index which is n minus 1 into 10 to the power 6 and that even we can calculate by eta minus 1 plus h by r into 10 to the power 6. Now see when we plot m with respect to h that is called as m curves so as i have told to understand duct propagation we need to understand m curves so m curves can be plotted easily by plotting it with respect to h so ultimately m curves are plotting of modified refractive index with respect to h now here you should note one thing for non-standard atmosphere simple refraction does not occur but when m counts are available we can roughly predict those things and gradient that is what change in m with respect to change in height and its sign is depending on tropospheric condition so all those things that i'll be explaining in detail so let us move on to those detail understanding so for that i'll be explaining inversion layer now what is that first of all so inversion layer is the region where atmospheric condition are exactly opposite to the standard atmospheric condition and for standard atmospheric condition 
slope of m with respect to h is positive and for inversion layer slope of m with respect to h that is negative so the inversion layer is referred even as duct layer so for standard atmospheric condition we have slope which is positive but for non standard atmospheric condition we have a slope of m circle m curves that is negative so let us try to understand that and that inversion layer is what duct layer so for here this is what standard atmospheric region and this is what height so for lower up to some height there is standard atmospheric region so for that if you plot m with respect to h so that curve will be positive so here you will be finding positive slope now for non standard means for inversion layer you will be finding slope of m with respect to h that is negative so here one can see slope is negative slope of m with respect to h and for again standard refract atmosphere you will be finding slope is again positive so this region of that height with respect to earth that is inversion layer and that layer even referred as duct layer and in duct layer we will be studying how single hope and multi hope propagation is happening so first of all one should understand let us again revise those basics which i have explained duct propagation is happening in duct channel and to understand that we need to have understanding of m curves m curves that is what based on refractive index but that is little modified refractive index and we can calculate it by n and n is equals to eta plus h by r where h is height eta is normal refractive index r is radius of earth and here modified refractive index that is n minus 1 into 10 to the power 6 and to get it we will be doing n minus 1 both of the side into 10 to the power 6 so m is equals to n minus 1 into 10 to the power 6 and that is even n minus 1 plus h by r into 10 to the power 6 now here one can observe we can plot m against h and that is referred as m curve and for standard atmospheric condition for standard atmospheric condition that slope of m with respect to h that will be positive and for non standard atmospheric condition that slope of m with respect to h will be negative and when that slope becomes negative that channel will referred as duct layer and one can see i have plotted that slope of m with respect to h so for this region that slope is positive so this is what standard atmospheric layer but for non standard means inversion layer slope of m with respect to h is negative and again for standard atmospheric condition that slope will be positive so now let us try to understand how duct formation is happening and then i'll explain you single hope and multi hope propagation so when the temperature increases with height over certain range of height it is known as temperature inversion usually what happens as you increase height temperature decreases so this is the usual condition when you increase height temperature should decrease but for certain range of height what happens is as you increase height temperature decreases and that is referred as temperature inversion and when temperature inversion that is there in that case what happens is inversion layer is sandwiched in between standard atmospheric layers like see has one can see here this inversion layer that is sandwiched in between two standard in atmospheric layer so from this to this height as you increase temperature sorry as you increase height temperature will increase sorry decrease and from this layer to this layer as you increase height temperature will increase 
and from further that if you increase height in that case temperature will decrease so that is what the case which happens so ultimately inversion layer is sandwiched between the earth surface and standard atmosphere so what happens is cool air is trapped in between earth surface and warm air and the region of cool air behave like duct for radio waves so ultimately as i have told as you increase height usually temperature should decrease but for inversion layer opposite case is happening where as you increase height temperature will increases so ultimately what happens over here and over here there will be warm air and in between that there will be cool air that will get trapped so ultimately cool air that is getting trapped in between two layers of warm air in standard atmospheric pressure layer and that cool air trapped which is even referred as inversion layer where duct formation is happening and as we know cool air is having higher density and warm air is having lower density so there will be even density difference so ultimately because of inversion layer there will be cool air which is getting trapped in between warm air at the top as well as at the bottom so there will be elevation inversion layer is even present in such case cool air is trapped in between warm air as well as above there will be a warm air and below there will be a warm air to that cool air layer so ultimately let us try to understand how that hope propagation will happen single hope and multi hope so as i have told warm air and cool air has different density so when signal goes from cool air to warm air it faces a reflection back to earth and that reflected signal again get reflected from a transition of cool air to warm air so for single hope propagation there will be reflection which happens once only and for multiple hope propagation the reflection will happen more than 3 times so let us try to understand how that happens so as i have told this cold air that is getting trapped in between warm air layer so this is what warm air layer this is warm air layer this is earth surface so nearer to earth surface there is warm air layer and then after there is cool air layer and above that there is again warm air so density of cool air cold air that is high so for this cold air density is high and for warm air density is low and over here for warm air density is low now what i am doing is i'll be sending signal from transmitting antenna to receiving antenna so here transmitting antenna that will be going to send signal and when it strikes from cold air to warm air there will be a transition of high density to low density so ultimately that signal that will get reflected back like this and if i place antenna here then directly we can receive this signal and this is what single hope propagation this is single hope propagation now in multi hope propagation what happens we send signal from transmitting antenna and because of signal enters from high density to low density it will get reflected back so it is getting reflected back like this and again over here there is a transition of high density to low density so again it will get reflected like this and again there is a transition of high density to low density so again it will get reflect like this so here 
there are two hopes which is happening and the reflection is happening three times so ultimately this is what multi hope propagation so this is multi hope propagation and that is happening because of multiple time reflection happens and this is what about multi hope propagation induct propagation so what are the conditions which we need to have for duct propagation the transmitting antenna is inside the duct the radio wave enters the duct at very low incident angle so these two conditions that should get satisfied one is transmitting antenna should be inside the duct and when we send signal it should be at least having that incident angle so that it can get reflected back so these two conditions that we need to satisfy for duct propagation so here in this session i have explained you so many things about duct propagation i have explained you what is what is duct i have explained you what is duct propagation i have explained you what are m curves and based on m curves what is inversion layer and based on inversion layer how we can form a duct and based on formation of duct how multiple hope and single hope propagation happens so this many things that i have covered in this session thank you so much for watching this video you can find entire antenna and wave propagation lecture series here so that is what helpful to you to understand antenna and wave propagation you can share it with your friends and you can find all materials regarding this on my website link of my website is attached with the link in description so you just find it from there thank you so much for watching this video